Hello everyone. Welcome to JJ Game Master Class. Guys, in today's video, we will discuss some multiple choice questions that is MCQs from the topic Errors in Chemical Analysis which is uh, MSc First Year Unit 1 and this video I especially I am preparing on demand. Uh, before going ahead, I would like to request that I have observed majority of my uh, viewers are have not subscribed my channel. So this is my request if you are watching my videos and getting benefited of it then do subscribe it, share it and like my videos so that the others also get benefit of it. Now we will go ahead with the, the MCQs related to this errors in chemical analysis. The topic is also important for chemistry MSc, CSIR NAT gate and other competitive exams. So the very first question, so basically before going ahead, ahead with this video, you have to complete this unit. If you are thorough with the uh, theory of this chemical analysis, then you can solve these questions. Which of the following is an error that may occur in the measurement of physical quantity? So as you have studied that there are certain types of errors called systematic error, random error, absolute error, relative error. So now the question they are asking which kind of errors may occur in the measurement. So the fourth option is given all of the above and since we know these all are possible. So the answer is all of the above. Next question is which of the following is a type of systematic error. So the options are given here instrumental error, gross error, error due to imperfections and all of the above. So if you notice error due to the imperfections and instrumental error both are same. So systematic error if you have learned you know that there are three kind of systematic error, instrumental error, personal error and method error. So this gross error is nothing but it is the personal error. So we can say that uh, the option D is the correct answer all of the above. Next is measurement that is close to the true value. So if you have gone through with the what is the difference between accuracy and precise then you can easily answer this question. So the options are given here accurate, precise, average and error. As I have already disclosed that it must be between accurate and precise. So if the data is close to the true value, it is said to be accurate. So the answer is option A, which is correct answer. Next question, what is the reason for the occurrence of systematic error in an instrument? So like uh, when does it occur? So the options are given manufacturing fault or no uses for a long time, high use or delivery fault. So systematic error as we know it can be instrumental error, personal error or method error. So as we know if you use the instrument frequently you have to calibrate it. So we can say that the answer should be C that is high use. Delivery fault will not give you the systematic error. No use for a long time also if you are not using the instrument will not give you the systematic error. So basically whenever uh, the reason for the occurrence of systematic error in the instrument is high use because every time you have to recalibrate it. Next question when uh, the given is in six experiments uh, with the same objective the values obtained are very near to each other. These values can be called. So if the values are very close to each other or uh, producible you can say Again, you have a tie between accurate and precise. So if you have studied accuracy is called that is close to the true value and precise means if the measurements are reproducible. So very close to each other means the results are reproducible. Therefore, the option B is the correct answer. Next is how are systematic errors removed usually for an instrument. So for the instrument how you can remove the systematic error options are given by not using it for some time by replacing it by using a repairing service or by recalibrating it as we have already discussed that instrumental errors can be removed by recalibration it so the option D is correct answer which of the following is a type of determinate error so determinate and systematic errors are the same. Either you can call it systematic error or determinate error. 
so now uh, the given is options are operative error instrumental error error of method all of the above so like we know that instrumental error method error the error of method is also given here and the human error or the cross error or personal error or operative error that is again the same so the answer is d all of the above basically whenever the all of the above and none of the above is given then you have to be very careful while choosing the correct answer next question is in the set of some data is given here the median they are asking and you can calculate the median we know that you have to do the summation of all the values given divided by the number of measurement the number of measurements are given here 5 so you can sum the values given here and divided by 5 so you will get 10.8 as a median value so the option d is correct answer so if you have gone through with the f test t test q test z test then you can answer these question the f test is used for the options are given for testing the of significance for rejection of idea for obtaining the best fitting line or for completion of data so we can uh, think of the option a and b because the correct answer is for the testing of significance f test is used for the testing of significance so whether the data is significant you are getting is not then you can do go for f test for the rejection of result the test is used so we know f test is used for the significance similarly t test is also used for significance testing of significance so all a b c options are same so the left is d q test is used for the rejection of result so if you want to uh, decide whether you have to keep the result or you have to reject it you have to conduct the q test now the last problem is very important and based on the standard deviation so the data is given here and you have to find out for that the standard deviation so our options are given here for that you should know the formula the correct answer is c here 10.26 10.25 cannot be because they have given you directly the same uh, data means either in the form of mean or median so this cannot be the standard deviation we have to decide among c or d so you can use a formula of a standard deviation s is equal to under root summation of x square minus sum of x whole square divided by n divided by n minus 1 you learn this formula and step by step you have to go ahead first you can calculate sigma x and then you can find out sigma x square and put the value in the formula and once you calculate first you solve 51.32 whole square divided by 5 subtract it from this and divided by 4 you will get the value 0.0250 so the option c is the correct answer for the given problem standard deviation is one of the important uh, numerical comes for msc Uh, students and uh, you can find the same question same type of question on standard deviation in nat and gate examination as well so i hope uh, this uh, uh, small uh, set of questions are helpful for you to understand the concept uh, related to systematic or determinate error and uh, to understand the accuracy and precision the difference between the two and standard deviation so happy learning